Hey sewing friends, so I'm coming to you on a super sunny, crazy warm February day under no illusions winter will return. But in the meantime, let's talk about my favorite wide leg pants and shorts patterns that I would make in baby whale corduroy. This is a pretty specific one. I've reviewed these pants before and I've talked about them before, but I've never really talked about the magic of baby whale. So I style this crossbody and this fun cropped wool jacket, similar to the um, Megan Nielsen Hoveo, um, which I've also made. But let's talk cropped pants and shorts for winter, spring, and yes, summer in corduroy. As you can see, these are in a whiskey corduroy. This is the Emerson from True Bias. It comes in two rises. It comes in a lower rise, a mid rise, where it shows your belly button. And then it also comes in a high rise, which covers all of that. Um, it's got a great fit. You've seen these before because I have made and worn these before, but I wanna show you a couple of other fabrics and talk about two other patterns that you could, should consider for pants and shorts in corduroy. So my second favorite is, the, well, probably my first favorite because I've made more of them, is the Pietra from Closet Core. So the Pietra comes in full length wide leg, it comes in cropped wide leg, it comes in, it comes in cropped skinny, which is a, uses entirely different pattern pieces, just FYI, and then it also comes in a short. Now, I love these. I have made every version of them, except the cropped wide leg, actually. I've made the cropped long one. Um, I've made every version of them except the cropped version, and I absolutely love the pants. I have a pair in the wash right now. They're, they're my favorites. So I would definitely strongly recommend that. But let's take a look at a couple fabrics, and then we'll talk about this pants and shorts idea. Shorts and corduroy? What are you talking about? We'll talk about it. So these three beauties, there's like so much fabric here, you guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. All right. So let's talk about these three beauties. I'm going to come forth so you can see them. Close up, we've got watermelon. I've got so much of this, it's probably five yards there. I've got teal, and I've got this aqua color. And yesterday at Carve Designs, they put out a cropped wide leg corduroy pant in a color that was very similar to this one, between, kind of across between these two actually, on their social media. And I thought, yep, that's exactly what I wanna make. Now theirs comes with back pockets, and the pocket shape is kind of comes down, makes a little angle and straight across the bottom. So it looks a little bit what I would call a carpenter pant. And if you want to put pockets on the back of your corduroy cropped pants and shorts, I will put the exact template that I'm gonna use that I'm gonna draw it for you for free at SewParadise.com. So go get that pocket template. It'll look just like the Carved Designs ones um, that you'll see there. I'll have the whole template up for you. You can go ahead and download it. It's the one I'm gonna use when I make mine. Now, probably the first pair that I'm going to make is these right here. And I'm gonna make these likely in the Emerson just because I love how it's almost even like a tailored pant, cropped pant. I'm gonna probably make these in the Emerson. And I got this from my local fabric store. I got these other two online, um, cause they're a stretch corduroy, but I got these from my local fabric store. These two other two have been in my stash for forever, like 15 years, maybe, maybe more. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be making this. My uh, local fabric store has lots of colors of corduroy. I'll put a link for you guys if you want it. Um, but Carve Designs also, has their Oahu short in this butter baby whale cord. This one's slightly stretchy. Um, they have it in a short, and I'm gonna tell you the magic of corduroy shorts. I wear those all summer long. Unfortunately, last year at a brewery, I got rust down the leg. I picked up a chair and it was one of their outdoor chairs and it just got rust all down my leg, including on the shorts. And then I tried to get the rust out, and so now I have a big bleached spot. <laughs> I didn't use bleach, but it bleached it out. So anyway, I've got to make another pair and then maybe do something with the other ones with embroidery or something. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be making a pair. And what they do with theirs is they actually leave the hem raw. So you get a little bit of a raw edge hem and then they stitch just like with a tight stitch, just about maybe a half an inch above the raw edge and they leave it raw. So that's going to be a fun thing I'm going to do this summer. I'll probably end up using the Emerson for that. I'm on the fence. The difference between the Emerson short and the Pietra short is that the Pietra is a little wider and a little longer, and that slightly wider and slightly longer makes it so the short doesn't ride up here. Now, 
I have tried all manner of anti write up techniques. Um, I finally ended up doing one with interfacing, which I'll post a link to. Um, I tried those little tabs, like, you know, that are in men's shirt collars in here. And I'm, we're in a car driving between, I don't remember, Germany and, the, and Prague and the Czech Republic last summer. And I'm ripping them out of my shorts, like just ripping them out. My husband's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I've got these things in my shorts. And he's like, what are those? Anyway, um, I hate when my shorts write up. But I think the trick is if your short is slightly longer than where your thigh kind of gets a little wider. If the short is slightly longer than that and slightly wider, it won't get pushed up and stay up. It has nothing to do with the width of your thighs. Honestly, you can have really skinny thighs and this will still happen. It has to do with where the short fits and how sort of heavy that inner, inner leg hem is to keep it down so it doesn't crunch up. So I have some good techniques using interfacing and some extra fabric that makes kind of like a little pad on the inside that keeps it from rubbing, and I'll, and I'll go ahead and post that for you. But the shorts are magical. They're absolutely super, super comfortable, and both of these patterns have wonderful shorts, so I strongly recommend it. The other pattern that I will recommend is the Rose by Made by Ray. Um, similar to the Emerson, so you might want to choose one or the other. The only difference with the rose is the rose does come in the full length version. You could make these ones full length, this too, too just extend it down and trace it off. Uh, it's a straight hem. But if you want to have something in that's already done for you, the rose would be an excellent choice. It looks very similar to this. Pleats or gathers on the front, elastic back waist, wide legs, shorts, crops and pants. You've got it all in that pattern, so definitely check that out. This is going to definitely be pants and shorts, assuming I can get enough out of it. Corduroy, again, has a nap. So what that means is um, if you rub it one way, it's darker. And if you rub it, or actually it would be this way. If you rub it this way, it's darker. And if you rub it this way, it's lighter. So if you don't want to work with a nap and have extra fabric, try something like a Bedford cord, which is basically corduroy with the ribs without the nap. Now, my local fabric store carries this in a bunch of different colors. They also carry a bunch of twills, and I'll put some links in there um, that would be perfect for these pants and shorts for spring and summer, winter, spring, and summer. When I make these, I'm going to be taking these from now, February. I'm under no illusion, 70, 61 degree February day outside that we're not going to go right into the 70s. No, we're going back to the 30s, and it's going to snow again, and March and April will be cold, and we'll be whining about it. I can tell you that for sure. So I'm preparing ahead. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be cozy in my corduroy pants in these bright, beautiful colors, like this one and this one. The only thing I can think about this is when I bought it, I must have been thinking I wanted to make one of those corduroy boyfriend blazers because this is a ton of fabric, man. I took it out of my fabric shelf and like a bunch of things tumbled out because I like, you know, took out the keystone um, in, my <laughs> in my fabric shelves. Um, this is just huge. It's been in my stash for at least... I think conservatively, probably 15 years, uh, maybe even a little longer. So I'm on a mission to sew my stash this year. And look at how pretty this is. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got that fun sort of like bubble gum, kind of Barbie watermelon look that's super popular right now. I am gonna absolutely love making these into a pair of shorts this summer and cropped pants. I will wear them in the pants in the winter and then I will wear these shorts in the summer and be perfectly happy. And you think to yourself, corduroy shorts, are you kidding me? No. It's lighter weight than denim, so if you wear jean shorts in the summer, this is lighter weight. It's also super comfortable, and this is actually stretched, so it's got a little stretch to it. Very comfortable, um, easy to wear. Not, I mean, maybe you don't want to wear it on the day when it's 107 or whatever it is. It never gets that warm here, but if you want to wear it on an 85-degree day or an 80-degree day, you'll be just fine. So those are going to be my plans. So you've got the Emerson. You have the Rose. And you have the Pietro. And those three are my three favorite woven wide leg pants patterns that you can make in corduroy. And you can also make them in twill or our linen or other fabrics as well if you, um, you wanna do that as well. And I have a great pair of linen ones in these and two pairs of linen shorts. So strongly recommend. Um, I'm gonna be planning a getaway this summer or spring with a friend to Charleston, South Carolina. And I am definitely gonna be bringing one of my pairs of Pietras with me. Probably not these ones, but maybe one of these fun colors. So that's my roundup. Definitely check these pants patterns out. I'll put a bunch of links at sewparadise.com. So check that out. And um, you know, cropped wide is in, in, in right now for summer and you have the tools to make your very own.